Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay Hidden. Bring you guys back another video. I got a special guest with me today. Introduce yourself, bro. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is uh, DMK, Good Mo Key. Yep. Hey, today we'll be talking about why the gym is the king of self improvement, or why it's one of the main keys to self improvement. And um, yeah, bro, just just tell a little bit about your story. You know, your weight loss journey, how it's been so far. You know, you starting this year, and how the gym been for you? Uh, I mean, for one, I've been in big care like literally all my life. And like, mm -hmm. I always tried to like make a difference with that, but it's kind of hard to like tell my parents. Cause I used to live with my parents. I moved out this year, but I used to live with them. And it's like, it's hard to tell them to like, hey, let's just stop eating this. Let's eat this, this, and this, mm -hmm. and make a meal plan for three other people when I just started doing it. And to also go to the gym. Cause when I wanted to go to the gym, that's when coronavirus came out. Mm -hmm. So, and my mom, she was very strict. Like they older, so they didn't want to, they didn't want me to go outside. I didn't legit see this individual for legit eight mm. months That's until i moved out <clears throat> but now since i moved out uh i lost around like 30 pounds i still keep my lean muscle uh now i'm starting to see cause i've been doing it since january 22nd and i took a lot more serious in like beginning of february mm -hmm. up until now and now i'm starting to see like a whole lot of different growth and my arms, like I can see like actual deafness in my arms and my legs. Uh, my face is starting to slim down a little bit. <clears throat> and my upper chest, I noticed that there's like a lot more growth there too. So it's just, for me, when I go to the gym, I, it's just a great time. Like legit, the first time I went to the gym this year, I legit knew that I was always gonna go to the gym. Like it's just, for me, it's just fun. Like it's addicting. Like, this is addicting to be able to keep going higher and higher than you did before. Like, oh, I started off here. Now I'm already, like, doing 50 pounds more within the next month. Like, it's just always great to see growth and to see <clears throat> and have other people notice your growth. Like, I had, at first it was just my parents because, you know, they're going to love you. They're going to say any bit of change, whether they know it's there or not, they're going <laughs> to say it's there. <laughs> I got that. But then, you know, I have... Uh, co-workers that I've been working with, they sign say like, oh, you look like you slimmed down, your arm's getting bigger, blah, 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 close friends, family members, it's just, hearing that, like, you don't need to have that in order to, like, keep going, but it's just, it's just nice to hear, like, yeah, who yeah. doesn't like having, like, getting compliments, let's, let's be realistic, yeah, everybody loves compliments, you know? Yeah, I am about to say, validation, definitely, no matter, <clears throat> no matter how self-independent you are, or how independent you say you are, I mean, you're a human at the end of the day, it's just biology to feed off of validation and be better off that so yeah i definitely understand that so we talked a lot about your growth and your soul growth so how do you think that has helped you as far as self-improvement with you i don't know let's just start with mentally well it makes a difference like damn i'm not as fast as i used to be you know like i can like i'm seeing i always had a picture of what i wanted to be and the things i wanted to do when i got older but since I was always fat, I couldn't do that. Like, like you can always, like, I'm really into professional casual. Like, I love that. And there's also tattoos I want to get. But I don't want to get into professional casual mm -hmm. being a big person. Because, like, it's just being, when you're big and you have to wear a suit. And so <laughs> you got to have a tucked in shirt with your belt. And you just look and you're like, damn, my gut's just hanging straight over my pants. Like, that's not, that's not a great thing, you know? Like, that's not like, it's like, damn. Come on, bro. Like everybody can just see, everybody can just see how overweight you are, and I, you know, that answer insecurities, blah blah blah. You can say you don't care, but shut the fuck up, cause you really do care. <laughs> Let's be realistic. Getting told that you're fat every day does not, it's not a great thing. It's not, it's not fun. Not saying that happened to me every day, but still, just like hearing that has just never been fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it's just mentally just seeing that I'm doing better is just like it helps me stay calm. Because I know I am, in the long run, working on goals that I want to get. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm working on finally better to get my tattoo because I have, you know, uh, a slimmer body. Because usually when you get tattoos, like, when you do dramatic changes, that it will dramatically change your tattoo. And I don't want that. I want my tattoo to be great for the rest of my life. That professional, I want to be, like, just wear a nice 
vest. This is a nice vest mm -hmm. and look good in it. So yeah. that with my mental. Mm -hmm. And plus the gym is just, the gym is just where I'm just calm. When I get my anger out. Cause I'm just, I won't lie. I'm a very angry person. Mm -hmm. I just don't show it a lot. But the gym is just like, I just use the anger that I have to just push myself further. So it lets me release my stress. What about, what about, um, what about physical interactions? What about the okay. physical side? Okay. <laughs> uh, you funny uh with just people in general like how do you how do you feel how do you feel the reception is towards you now that you started working on it and really taking it seriously compared to how it was before because i mean obviously the confidence has gotten up like you said you know due to mental so how do you feel like the physical interactions <laughs> are like with just with people in general well <clears throat> for one i always have been good with connecting with people like that's mm -hmm. to me that's just one of my get some guys us be able to connect with people <clears throat> on an easier note mm -hmm. people still talk shit but everybody does you know uh for i guess now though yeah would you say with confidence i definitely would say that I say a lot more risky things that normally wouldn't say when it comes to at least with females and i just i get like i always get positive feedback like just some things like i thought about it I thought about it recently on something. Like, I would not say this. Like, the old me, like high school me, or even a little bit after high school, I would not say the things that I'm saying now mm -hmm. and have confidence that I would get positive results. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> having that and then just having, you know, go back to the compliments, just like friends or family or new people saying like, oh, you look good. Like, I have a friend, cause I was just, I don't mean it for real, but I just make jokes about it and I'm fat as hell. <laughs> and my friend, like, he was looking and bro, no, you're not. Like, like, look at your arms. Like, you know, girls like big arms because he's a tall, skinny guy. And he said, they really like tall, skinny guys. They like guys with big arms like yours. I'm like, like, just hearing that, like, that's nice. But it's also, like, I wouldn't have gotten that before. Like, I wouldn't have gotten They would just say, like, yeah, you're right. And that was it. Mm -hmm. So just seeing that is just... People, everybody's attracted to physical, like whether people want to believe it or not. Personality, yes, yeah, sure, or that's the thing. But let's just being honest, everybody's attracted to physical. I don't know why you look at me like that. But everybody's <laughs> attracted to physical because that's you're not gonna go for something that you don't like looking at. No, like, like I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go buy a what 1950 used Honda that even was back out there just because like it does look ugly to me so i'm not gonna just go buy it. i'm gonna go buy a 2020 hellcat like mm -hmm. you're gonna go for what you want or what your eyes want not what they don't want so yeah so yeah guys just wanted to put out a quick little video so get a different perspective not only from my mouth but from his too because he's experienced the gym he's experienced the changes right now where his first year taking this really seriously so it's not just coming from me it's also coming from another very very valuable source very verified source so i mean hey if you guys haven't started going to the gym i would suggest you guys start now it's summer go outside get a run in go do some yoga do whatever you got to do just make it fun for yourself don't go to the gym and hate yourself you don't have to necessarily go to a gym i'm not saying that but I feel like it would help more than anything, but just physical fitness in, in general is just important just for your whole mental, your spiritual, you know, it's just something to, you know, do on an everyday basis. I mean, use your body every day. You only get one of these. So I would true, suggest true. that everybody take care of, I mean, your body is a machine. I mean, I know everybody is focused on money and a grind, but how are you going to make money if you're sick? So, you know, just want everybody to keep that in mind. Stay up. Can I say something? Yeah. I just want to say, if you don't want to go to the gym, it'd be like that. If you don't want to go, at least just for yourself, if you actually do want to try to get better, just focus on your eating. Yeah. Like, literally, yeah. like, the gym does make a difference for the long run, but eating is the most important thing when it comes to actually losing weight, gaining weight, uh, having your skin glow, blah, 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 blah. Eating is the most important thing. So find out your weight, what kind of body type you are. Mm-hmm. Put that in, a, in like a fitness calculator, try to see how many calories, protein, carbs, uh, fat you're supposed to have every day, and just work with that and you will instantly see results. Yeah. Like you legit will see results within really a week, but I would just jump on the scale every two weeks <clears throat> and stay consistent those 14 days and you'll definitely see results, I promise you. Yeah, for sure. I definitely agree with that. Like I said, just a minimal change in eating habits and 
minimal walking alone like I like I did when I was first on. I was just doing the treadmill and just watching what I ate and pounds are falling off because it's, it's that it's that simple. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's that simple, you know. But hey guys, so once again, we got GMK Gorilla Mode Key. <laughs> I'll be Sir. linking. I'll be linking his Instagram in the bio. Go check him out. Motivational. I'm gonna leave his Facebook. I'm gonna leave his links in the bio. So stay tuned for another video. I'll be putting out more videos. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment uh, about you guys' journeys if you have one. So peace. Have a good one, y'all.